these little circuits are really great fun. They um, very simple, just a single device here, uh, high kind of high speed oscillation between the capacitor. But uh, this one's only running at 20 odd volts. But you can see the uh, the field is is good enough to light this fluorescent tube without any trouble at all. Where are these colours coming from? This is a Tungar lamp, a very old rectifier. This is a, an oscillator here, which is tuned, I think. And if I put up a bit of current through this, notice strange colours. This is, contains argon, but there's more than argon going on here. Wow. <laughs> Look at these colours! Amazing! Really no idea what's in this Tongar lamp. There are some coatings that have come off, so maybe partly get it and other parts have disintegrated and that was producing a lot of these light flashes inside of a plasma globe. So plasma globes normally have argon and neon. Let's try this. Overdrive it here. You can certainly see some neon but it also gets very hot. So it's a homemade helium lamp uh, tube and it takes quite a bit to get this thing to work. But even in this coil, this now works quite well here. So that's helium in this. No electrode, electrodeless helium. This one is a hollowed cathode, but it has a neon gas in there. If I can get that incredibly bright. So got this. This is the arc tube out of a sodium lamp. I'm hanging on to it because it has a an aerial starter, which is tends to burn me quite a lot. Uh, again, this one's quite hard to start because it takes such a high starting voltage. We'll give it a go. There we go. Impressive. This is such good fun, actually. anywhere near this. This is a fluorescent tube. Oh, good grief. Wow. <laughs> Another fluorescent tube. Lights easily. And interesting when it goes into the coil how intensely bright that gets around there. And the tube actually gets quite warm. These are some tubes that are completely electrodeless. Some have got some neon in them, some have got some argon. <laughs> 